Hello everyone, Technos with Craig Chamberlain here. This is a Chrome plugin series where I show you, you know, I show you Chrome plugins that you really might like or you might hate, you might find useful, you might find useless, yada, yada, yada. But anyways, this one's awesome. Gotta say it. As always, you can support me at PCMichiganda.com by visiting there, stepping by the forum, leaving some conversations, leaving comments, ratings, and subscribing. Now, the aviary screen capture software, I do believe it's been around for a little while. Of course, it's new to Google Chrome because Google Chrome is new. What we have here is a screenshot software with a built-in photo editor. And before you guys say, I don't need that, first check it out. It is really freaking cool. As always, the download for this extension is going to be in the video description. After you've clicked install, it installs really, really quick. What will happen is, let's say hypothetically you're surfing the internet and you come across a photo or a logo or something that you have to have, you know? But it's surrounded by all this crap, you know, all this website junk. And you say, well, it would really be cool if I could cache it, but then you got to print screen and then you got to go do a... Uh, like paint or whatever, paste it and crop it and whatever photo editing tool you have. Not anymore. So let's say you came across a picture of like, for example, a giant awesome colorful egg, okay? And just hypothetically, I just got lucky because their logo happens to be a giant colorful egg. But let's say I want to get this picture. All I need to do is I need to go up here and select capture this screen with aviary, Cap capture visual portion of page. It's going to open up a new browser window, and here I have the actual full page that was just captured. Now, it comes with basic tools. Here you have in the upper left-hand corner, you can make ellipses, you can make squares, you can make lines, you can make arrows, uh, you have a paintbrush, you can do the eyedropper tool, of course, if you need to pick up that color of green because it's such an awesome green. Text, you know, text or text. <laughs> And then you have, of course, a uh, rectangle for highlighting if you need to make any kind of copy and drag and drop and that kind of thing. And of course, if I go over here to the right hand side, I have undo, redo, restore, which restores it back to default, all the different coloring options, changing font sizes, putting outlines and shadows on things. And in the bottom left hand corner, I can rotate and flip, you know, all kinds of really cool image editing tools. Of course, the most important tool for most of you is gonna be the cropping tool, which lets me just highlight whatever I want on the page you know, put it in the box, and then I can just select apply, and here I have the picture of my egg, and then I can just save to desktop, and I can go to my documents, or go to my desktop, save it as a doodle, and say yes. But that's not all there is to this software. There's actually an advanced editor option, and an image effects option, and a color palette with you all kinds of different colors. I'm gonna show you the advanced editor real quick, and you have a very Photoshop-esque environment after you've done that, actually. You get all kinds of different, unique tools that are very actually powerful for this being free software. I'd say this editing software is actually more useful than GIMP, but you know, that's more of an opinion. Up here you can do layer effects, you can do filters, you can do all kinds of really advanced photo editing. That's probably more for web design geeks and things like that, or people who are extremely bored like me who really enjoy bizarre things. On the right hand side I have layers, I have my layer options, I can check, change my blending mode and my alpha layer. This is an extremely powerful photo editing tool for being free and built into a browser. This is probably a must have for a lot of you out there. Some of you might say this is useless to me, but you will probably be surprised at how often you use this because you can just grab anything off any page you want and do whatever you want with it and save it, upload it to friends, send it to friends, and things like that. That's pretty much all there is to this episode. Went a little long on it, but hey, it's a really cool plugin, so I took my time with it. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again.